Yeah. Um, Chuck mentioned uh, we uh, kind of let's come to the completion of phase one of the study, which was to, which was to look at kind of the short term immediate needs that the uh, city needed to uh, consider uh, for the uh, for the water and the and the sewer system. I'll I'll talk first about the uh, the wastewater stuff. We developed and kind of looked at the overall picture, presented that to uh, the committee. Uh, about, about about two months, three months ago. After meeting from, from there, we went back and met again with our uh, the city's committee, the study committee, and uh, we developed kind of a, a phase one in parts, in five parts, and then a phase two and a phase three for the wastewater plant. Um, we then looked at the phase one, the more immediate needs. What does the city need to do at, at right now in order to address issues of the wastewater plant? And what we're proposing the city do is complete phase 1A, 1B, and 1C of the uh, facility plan that you see in front of you, which basically encompasses uh, modification to the facility's headworks, um, upgrade and modification to the uh, aeration basins and installation of new aeration basin at the wastewater plant, and a re the replacement of the existing generator at the plant. This generator is marginal as far as whether it can hold the additional uh, pass of the plant. On top of it, it's, it's, it's getting old. So it makes sense to go ahead and make that replacement as a part of uh, this project um, as well. Uh, total, uh, total cost, including construction and, uh, and engineering, non-engineering, non-construction cost, it's about, uh, about $10.4 million is a preliminary uh, conceptual estimate for, uh, for the wastewater plant to work, which you'll see I passed out in, in front of you under the water reclamation plan. Kind of breaks out the, the three phases and the uh, an estimate of about 15% for engineering and permitting. That's just a rough number. I'm sure the city will negotiate with a firm to complete, uh, complete that part. Um, as far as the, the water system, shifting over to, to that, uh, we looked at Three or four different, actually five different alternatives, focused in on three alternatives to address the short-term needs to improve improvements in the northern part of your distribution system, and concluded that uh, we call it alternative A, which is in front of you, which is a new line running down Cane Road 13 from Fairfax Avenue to 104, then turning west on 104, running out to 98. <coughs> which would then also include upgrades to the booster pump station at Rock Creek to provide additional flow and fire protection to the Rock Creek subdivision. As well as this the new trunk line, or as I told uh, Greg, Big Water, it's Indian name, um, will, will allow, allow the city to provide some redundancy reliability to the water system and provide the ability to, for expansion into uh, parts, northern parts of the city distribution system in the, in the future. Uh, Preliminary uh, central cost estimate for the the northern north water distribution system improvements, including uh, non-construction costs, about uh, 1.85 million dollars.